And the United States, United Kingdom, and France are still coordinating their potential response. The White House says the president spoke to the British Prime Minister last evening, Theresa May, and the White House says that they discussed a need for a joint response to serious use of chemical weapons. The United Nations Security Council now holding that emergency session there and attempt to avoid a wider conflict. This as independent inspectors are on their way to that area in Syria uh, of the suspected chemical attack to begin their examination. The Russian government says they've inspected the area and they claim there was no chemical attack. The Russian ambassador has says that the immediate priority is to avoid the danger of war. He says we hope there will be no point of no return and he also says he cannot exclude war between the U.S. and Russia. Now, the U.K., U.S., and France say there was a chemical attack in Syria. United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley spoke just before this session here. She says that Russia has taken six opportunities to veto measures that would hold the Assad regime accountable for this. And because of that, Russia and Syria are bringing chemical weapons use back into the mainstream, Sandra. And, uh, Rich, uh, CIA Director Mike Pompeo says the administration has the authority to strike Syria. That's right, Sandra. This occupied a lot of time yesterday in his confirmation hearing to be the Secretary of State. He says this administration and previous administrations have demonstrated that the executive branch has the current authority to launch these strikes, but he ran into some opposition, notably from Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky on that. He also discussed Syria and confirmed for the first time that the U.S. has killed Russians in Syria. In Syria, now a handful of weeks ago, the Russians met their match, and a couple hundred Russians were killed. The, the list of actions that this administration has taken, I'm, I'm happy to, to walk through each of them, but I don't want to take up much and, more time. And I appreciate that. The, the list that. is pretty long, man. Reports had previously said that the U.S. had killed Russian mercenaries, dozens of Russian mercenaries who were joining uh, Syrian forces in that country. Rich, Rich Edson at the State Department for us this morning. Thank you.